hello everyone so i got multiple questions uh, from the viewers of my channel when they usually download the third person shooter project uh, they have to manual uh, build it uh, from source because there are some c++ files in the project c++ classes in the project so so i thought of just doing some episode like a guide so how do you do that so usually you have to uh, build the project from the source when there are source files and when you don't have binaries uh, folder binaries intermediate or these temporary folders that contains already built data so if you don't have when you try to open the project uh, the engine wants to first build the source files which usually contains in here uh, in order to open the project you have to first build them and also if you have some local plugins usually in a plugins folder and when the source files of those plugins are not built you have to build the project too so that's basically what the those are the basically reasons that you will have to build project from source right so, but to build a project usually you have to install visual studio uh, oh, uh wait let me open the visual studio installer so i can show you the things that you need to have in that you should have installed in order to build unreal projects usually you need this uh, this things mainly game development with c++ uh, you can actually see those details in in this documentation setting up visual studio for unreal engine uh, documentation so yeah you need to install this but i have installed this desktop development with c++ and some other stuff too because i wanted them for some other stuff that i was doing but this is the main part and if you are trying to build the engine from the source maybe you might need some other stuff but i don't remember so uh anyway let me close this so here if i delete this solution file save the intermediate binaries vs now this one is okay if i delete this and if i try to open this project uh, you can see this intermediate is being created yeah and we get this notification the following modules are um, missing or built with a different engine version so yeah if you try to open a older project with the new newer version of unreal engine even if you have the built binaries also you will still have to rebuild so would you like to rebuild them now so if you press yes usually this will work if you don't have any issues with the source code now you see these binaries are created so the build is successful uh, building the project is successful that's why starting the project with the engine now right now you can see the project opens but for some reason uh, if there are any issues with the code usually you get a message that says uh, can't build the project try to build from the source manually something like that if that happens let me again delete this saved binaries and intermediate files what you have to do is right click on the project files and generate visual studio project files then you get this window generating project files so well, let's wait till that completes right that's complete now we get this uh, flappy bird test solution file visual studio solution file let me open that okay now you have uh, this is the project 
you have in the solution you have ue5 which is ng and flappy bird test which is the project which is our project so you can set this one as the startup project and build this will also this is actually same as uh, building the project but if you have any errors if you have any errors in your source code you will get the errors here and you can just go through the code and fix them uh, but since we don't have any errors uh, these are just interesting uh, issues we can usually ignore them uh, because this intelligence is always loading it's a bit it's quite slow so yeah but anyway the project is built in here so if you don't have any issue the build will succeed depending on your computer's perform speed this at the time it takes to compile the project can be different right build succeeded so after the build is successful you can again see the binary file uh, here and you can just open the project from the u project as well or you can just start without debugging this will also open the project and yeah usually you should use this mm. By default, you have development editor, right? That's I think that's what you should get. Uh, what you get by default, yeah. When you play, press this start without debugging button, it will start the project. And yeah, as I said, the project is starting. And yeah, so here is the project. And that's all I wanted to do for uh, do in this episode. So thanks for watching. See you in another episode. Goodbye.